right, good morning. Happy January the 2nd. Hope everyone was safe and had a fantastic New Year's. Uh, we're going to do a quick video. I'm going to do uh, just a foundation and kind of a routine that I start myself off with for the mornings. Uh, first thing we're going to use is pour, the Pore Professional uh, by Benefit. This stuff is great for minimizing um, the appearance of um, enlarged pores. It just helps kind of smooth out your skin. I have found that by putting it on and then tapping it onto your skin leaves more of a smooth finish and it actually seems to cover the pores better if you're just tapping it onto the skin. Don't rub it. You could try it both ways, see which works for you, but I've tried it with different, I've tried using it with a brush, tried using it with a sponge, um, rubbing it on. And this seems to be the best way to get that finish. So the spots I typically put it on now, obviously the older you get, um, they tell you that the larger your pores will get, and that is true. I do cleanse my face very uh, religiously every single day, twice a day. Um, but um, my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead and on my chin is where I seem to have these issues. All right. So we're going to go in with uh, L'Oreal Paris 104 Golden Beige. This is the Pro Matte. And I'm just going to dot, dot, dot. This is just my routine every day. Nothing, um, nothing special. No changes. All right, and we're just going to take that and kind of stipple it on. I'm doing a very thin foundation today. You can kind of take and drag that just a little bit to kind of get it on your skin in the areas. But I always stipple it, in my experience, to get the smoothest finish. And this color is pretty good for me for the winter. Um, I've been trying to stay out of the sun. And we're supposed to have 70 degree weather here tomorrow in Knoxville, Tennessee. So, you would think it's springtime but it's the dead of winter. I ain't complaining. I don't like winter. I love spring, summer, and fall. All right, so very, very light coverage today. And I am gonna go in with just a little bit of a highlight underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a Bebo HD foundation. I'm just going to go in on the upper cheeks. And this kind of just makes your skin look, makes you look a little bit more awake, refreshed. And I don't go, I go basically right to, about right here under my eye. I don't want the, this stuff kind of creases just a little bit depending on which foundation you put on under. Put just a little bit right in the center of my nose. I've got plenty, it takes very little of this product to have really good coverage. Just a little bit on top of my lip. There's still plenty on the sponge from that little bit of application that I put on. All right, and then I finish that off with my fave. Airspun, this is in translucent. And it takes very little. Literally, you can't hardly even see what's 
you see that just a little bit. Kind of swirl it, tap tap, and I always tap the fountain or the powder on for uh, a very light coverage. I'm not baking or anything in my eyes today. He thought his wife was dead, so he moved on, but his bride is back. I'm so grateful to get to be here with you. In the new year, who will his heart belong to? I felt for you. Always blend from your face down your neck so that you don't look like you're wearing a mask. I see that every day out and about. Their makeup was will look good until you notice the change from the neck to the face. Okay, that's pretty much the foundation routine. Um, I'll post the products below again, but again, I use L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible 104 Golden, um, Golden Beige and Pro Matte, and I used uh, Bebo HD uh, Foundation, and this color is in natural. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for the finished look on the next video. Thanks. Subscribe below.